Adam Morris Jones. Adam Morris Jones, born 26 October 1954, is a British novelist and literary and film critic. Early life and education. Morris Jones was born in London to Sir William Morris Jones 1950-1999 at Welsh High Court Judge and the President of the London Welsh Trust and she and Mary Felicity 1923-1999, an attorney daughter of Charles Cobbin, a marine engineer. Morris Jones studied at Westminster School and read classics at Trinity Hall, Cambridge. Career Mars Jones is a regular contributor to The Guardian, The Observer, The Times Literary Supplement and The London Review of Books. He also participated in BBC Television's Newsnet Review. His first collection of stories, Lantern Lecture 1981, won a Somerset Moam Award. Other works include Monopolies of Lost 1992 and the Docker Proof Stories from a Crisis 1987, which was co-written with Edmund White. His first novel, The Waters of Thirst, was published in 1993. His essay, Venus and Vita, a polemic against modern armies, was originally published in the Counter Blast series in 1990. Filker 2008 was his second novel, followed by Sedilla in 2011. These two works form the first two parts of a projected trilogy. He was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of Literature in 2007. Noriko Smiling, a book concerning the Yasujiro Azu-directed film Late Spring, was published in 2011. In 2012, he was awarded the inaugural Hatchet Job of the Year Award for his review of Michael Cunningham's By Nightfall. On 2 January 2015, Mars Jones was captain of the winning team on Christmas University Challenge, representing Trinity Hall, Cambridge, who defeated Balliol College, Oxford, the University of Edinburgh and the University of Hull. His teammates were international rower Tom James, world champion cyclist Emma Pulley and actor Dan Stockey. Personal Life his 1997 Blind Bitter Happiness retells the difficult life of his mother and his relationship to her. Was Jones' 2015 memoir of his father Kid Gloves deals with his father's struggle to come to terms with his son's homosexuality and his father's latest slide into dementia in old age.